Tonight, the governor has yet to file an emergency declaration for victims of the Dixie fire. CBS 13's Marissa Perlman joins us now after speaking with those who lost everything and have no place to go, Marissa. Yeah, options for evacuees are limited. It's what we saw three years ago during the campfire in Paradise. Hotels and campgrounds are now booked up, shelters are full, and finding a rental home for those who say they've lost everything is nearly impossible. I'm facing a huge up uphill battle and we lost everything we own. Tiffany Retzloff first saw her Indian Falls home burning on Twitter. She lost everything and didn't have rental insurance. That's how we found out and uh, yeah, it's kind of been hell since then. Nearby Greenville is gone too. A nonprofit paid for Tiffany's family to stay in a hotel through Friday, but she says everything is booked after that and they have no place to stay. Limited resources. Greenville's no more, it's been completely leveled. We spoke with Jessica Roberts from the Elks Club in Quincy, where she's been staying with a group of six others she evacuated with. All of them have special medical needs. She's a home health aide and wouldn't leave town without her client, Kevin. This is my client right here. His name is Kevin. And then we've got cot set up. Tiffany is hoping the government will send trailers. But when we called FEMA, they said the governor has yet to request a major disaster declaration to get them involved. We reached out to Cal OES to find out why. We're told the state needs to provide FEMA with evidence of fire damage, including every burned down structure. And with the fire still raging, they have yet to do that. More damage means more financial support for the state from FEMA. With limited places to rent, Tiffany knows she may have to move out of Plumas County. For now, she's hoping help is on the way for her and her neighbors. I just want to know that the people in my community are safe and that we've got a plan. Well, the state has filed what's called an FMAG, which supplements the cost of the physical fire fight, but that doesn't help individuals who need housing. With housing filling up, Cal OES now suggests evacuees reach out to their local county of emergency services, which can work with people on housing on a case-by-case -case basis. All right, certainly can understand their concerns. Marissa Perlman, thank you for that.